uh, wounded different than we have done ever before. Uh, it's a rated R movie. There's nudity, there's some racial comments, there's a lot of language. But that's the style that uh, the writer David C. Hoke wanted to finally do. And we, we just gave him free reign here at Red Sea to do that. Um, and I think you're going to be impressed. There are scenes in Wounded that I think will captivate the audience's attention which will make you want to know what's going to happen next, and then what's going to happen next, and then what's going to happen next. Uh, you know, our next movie is Cowboy and Lucky, and it goes back to the slapstick. But this is a serious, dramatic uh, action, a little bit of action. Uh, the editing had some artsy feel. So it's something totally different than we've ever done, and I think we knocked it out of the park. Uh, of course, of course, of course. We don't have a million dollar budget, so there's always those things we wish we could have done better or we hope to do better next time, but it is going to be a very entertaining movie. And I think when you get up and you walk out of the theater, you walk out going, wow, that was, that was, that was deep. So there it is. Wounded is a deep movie. Some wounds never heal. That's the tagline. And... That's what Wounded is. Ah, my character, Roy. Roy is a mess. He don't know if he's coming or going until he comes across certain people. Uh, the other characters, uh, M. Jordan, plays uh, Kiels, and Kiels is Roy's best friend from the military. Kiels ends up being the little white guy sitting on this one, or, or, or the good guy sitting here, and Roy is pretty much the, the, bad, the bad side. So he's his alter ego going, man, you shouldn't do that. You need to think about this. And Roy's character is, you know what, I'm going to do it. Roy's Nemesis is his lover, but it's a love-hate relationship, and that's played by, by Tanasha, and she came really the only person that wasn't from the Central Texas area. She came out of Dallas, uh, been wanting to work with her before. She came down, and I hope y'all hate her because it's going to be easy to hate her, just like Roy hated her. Then comes across uh, Corey, Corey Mayer. She's just graduated Baylor uh, from the theater department, and she's headed up to Oregon to work in the theater. And she plays the part of Jarrah. And R Roy just never, ever cared about anything except himself until he crossed paths with, with this young lady. And it throws him for a loop. And everybody involved in Roy's life, from Kiels to Penny, which is Tanasha, and Jera, along with the bad guys, Russell, Big John, Big George. It's, it's just a whirlwind to see what's going to happen at the end. Uh, I, like, I like to think of it a little bit as a, our departed, uh, because you don't know what's, what's going to happen next in Roy's life. Uh, as far as playing Roy, it, it was fun. It was fun just being a little bit different. Of course, usually my roles are, I don't smile much. I'm not the slapstick guy. I'm more of a serious type guy. And it fit right into my, my persona. Was, so I, I enjoyed playing Roy. Working with Hope, first time director. And I take that back. He, he directed some episodes of Cowboy and Lucky and some scenes, but this is the first time that he directed a full feature, and I thought he did a great job. I thought he did a great job, along with the crew. Uh, I, I'm not going to try to name them all because I'd leave somebody out, but they did, a, they did a job. It's hard directing. It's hard seeing that movie in 1001, 1002, 1003 cut. 
I can't see it that way. Most people in the public don't see it that way, but directors have to see it that way. And I think Hoke did a good job. Then he edit, edited along with Will, so they got to make their creative, they got to put their creative input into the editing. And I think what you're going to see in Wounded will uh, impress you. Oh, being in theaters. Well, Cowboy and Lucky, the first, the first one was down at the Hippodrome. There was 900 people at the premiere, and it was just an awesome feeling. Hearing the people laugh, hearing them sigh, hearing them having a good time was a pat on the back. No, we don't have $100,000 cameras. We don't have... Uh, a big grip truck full of lights and sound equipment. We are independent. And all we're trying to do is entertain you. We want you to leave that movie going, man, that was good. That, that was a good movie. I, I, as long as we're entertaining our fans and our new fans and our old fans, then we're happy. Going to the big screen, going in more than one theater that's not in just Waco, Bryan, Temple at some point, maybe up to 16 with, with, uh, with uh, Cowboy and Lucky, a little less than that with Wounded, is it's pretty cool. It's hard for me to watch myself. I, I hate watching myself. I could be one of those actors that I just care not to even see the movie because... I just don't like myself on camera. I just don't. But hopefully you do. And on the big screen, Russell played Live or Die on there, and it just gives it a whole different feeling. It's not the Internet. It's not TV. It is the, theat the, the, the theatrical experience that drive us to do what we do. We love making movies. Of course, we got RedCTV.com, a lot of good things on there. But movies allow us to take you on a hour and a half to two hour ride that hopefully when it's over you're glad you, you, you paid your money to watch it. So get out, watch Wounded and uh, be looking for all our other productions. Everybody that was in Wounded, that was a part of Wounded, that let us in their stores, that let us in their house, that let us in their backyard, let us borrow their cars, all those people, our hats go off to you, we love you as a person, we love you as a fan, and keep coming back because it's not over. It is not over.